Well, I've always been interested in club feet for, you know, going all the way back to when I started and uh, uh, in, in the Ponsetti revolution uh, started to occur about 20 years ago and uh, the standard of care for club feet in the probably from 1970 to about 1990 was for, in most places was a surgical treatment. Mm -hmm. the, big, the thing that really got the surgical treatment though, the thing that really ended that was that the kids that had surgery, their feet really looked pretty good. The parents would love them and they looked good and they functioned very well when they were little kids. But as they got older and they became uh, adolescents and teenagers, uh, that scar tissue from the surgery would begin to restrict their motion and their feet would become stiff. And when they tried to participate in, in high level activities like high school sports, their feet, their feet would start to hurt. And uh, they would, they, you, they'd get up in the morning, they're stiff, they limp a little bit. And um, so around that time, people were beginning to uh, become less excited uh, about, about surgery. And Dr. Ponsetti's um, technique, they were, they were beginning to publish their long-term results in Dr. Dietz and Cooper in, I believe, like 1995 or six, wrote a paper that was like a 35-year follow-up. And these adults that had had the Ponsetti treatment were better than the kids that had surgery. So all of a sudden, people began to say, wait a minute here. And, and, and then once it snowballed. Yeah. You know, and, yeah, then, and then once it got going, um, I mean, the Ponsetti technique now is the standard, um, you know, all over the world, and it's and it's um, it's fantastic. Yeah. One of the great things about the Ponsetti technique is, it's it, you really can't overcorrect the foot. You, you have to you have to make it look overcorrected, but it'll always gradually come back. And the problem, actually, with the Ponsetti technique is that sometimes it'll continue to. Um, come back and, it'll, and the deformity will, be, will recur, but that's not really that big a deal because you just go back and you cast it out again. And, and with, um, with, uh, with that idea and uh, with better splinting, um, you know, this Ponsetti technique is just completely taken over. Well, I think I think for me that I, I think the two big things are comfort because uh, instead of a shoe, it's a soft uh, silicone. I think with mm -hmm. felt, so mm -hmm. that it's much more um, the the child's much more comfortable. But then, but the other thing is the the, the fact that the AFO is detachable. You have the same uh, advantage that the Horton Click Bar had is that if the child wakes up and he's uncomfortable, mom can, can, or dad can come in, unclick the AFO, right? Leave it on baby goes back to sleep and they can come back, just click it back on, really, really simple. And very adjustable. Um, I just, it's, it's, I think those are the two biggest reasons yeah. that it's better.